Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this extremely cool launcher. Now what it does is it actually launches you up into the air. And for a quick demonstration, you just click the button, look up, and boom. Fly pie. And the best part about this is you can invoke your elytra and fly away into the distance without needing to use any of your rockets for a very good distance. It's one of the best benefits of this thing. Now, let's just get into how to build this. It's pretty simple, but I'm going to go over some modifications at the end to make it even better. So stick around to the end. Now, to start off this, we, got, we want the basics. You need your nine dispensers. So you want to set up into like a three by three. Three, another three, three, and close square. These are your um, dispensers for where the TNT will come out of. Next, you want to fill it, the inside with water so it doesn't actually like explode and everything gets destroyed. Next, you want to take an oak. You want to take a fence, a fence post. Any wood would work. You want to place it in the middle. Middle. It doesn't matter that it's waterlogged. It's fine. This is where you're going to stand so that you're not in the water. Next, what you want to do is you want to link all this together. So you want to put a button on one of the dispensers. Doesn't matter which one. And then use redstone to connect all the other ones together. Like so. And then go to the corners and fill them in. Like so. And that's more or less all the redstone you gotta do. All you gotta do next is fill in the dispensers with some TNT. Alright, and once you've filled up all your dispensers with some TNT, all you gotta do is then click the button. Make sure you have your elytra on, of course. Click the button and wait and bam you go flying you get over a hundred blocks into the air which is pretty good for this really low quality one you can make this far better if you want but this is like the cheapest way of doing it without wasting so much tnt the next thing you do is simply just increase the amount of tnt you're gonna put you could make this square bigger or what i'd rather do is just increase the amount of tnt each one outputs so what you'd want to do is Instead of just having one button there, you would put a regular piece of redstone on top of this, like so, and then pull this out. From here, you'd want to add a redstone clock. Now, to make a clock, we're going to use an observer clock, which is really simple. So what you want to do is first place one observer facing towards the redstone, like so. So the red dust, the red dot is at the redstone. Next, you want to put another one over here, so the red dot is facing outwards with that one block gap. Then grab a sticky piston and put it behind so it's facing inwards and that is more or less it so what we would do is you do this and click the button it activates and bam okay, let me on let me on ah oh, there we go and look at that right above the morning sky and then we fly back down And there you have it guys, that is how you make your very own launcher in Minecraft. It's very simple, not too hard to make, and actually really fun to use. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time in a brand new video. Bye!